Indeed it is. Yes, you have a you have a good reason to be scared, Rayman, because this boss sucks. Yep. That can hit you already. So don't be fooled by me be being able to hit her so early. Like, it's not too bad now. But it gets so much worse. Like, third hit. Yeah, you'll, you'll see. Because this, it looks like the easiest boss right now. But trust me, that's not going to last. And I might actually have to use the infinite uh, 99 lives chi again just to get full health. Because you really don't want to sit through this entire boss more than once. Or more than you have to. So, she's going to... Okay, that was my fault. But, yeah, she does this attack, which lasts a really long time. It's not so bad to avoid, but it lasts so long. And I'm dead. the fact that it can hit, hit the fact that that thing can the washing machine can hit you like, as soon as it just comes in ah Like, what is this? Whoa. And that noise, that sound effect or whatever. That, okay, it's gonna come from the side. Don't forget about that. Okay, thanks. And now is it going to do? Yeah, okay. No! Okay, you know what? Do I even still have the code around here somewhere? I'll get, to, get up to that point and then uh, find the code. See if it's lying around. Just to be safe. I'm not even at the bad part. No! Okay. 
Oh, I thought I thought we were at, honestly at that part. Okay. If we get one. Yeah, if we get hit one one more time, I'll get the code out. Yeah, nope, nope, nope. I'm not taking any chances. seem to have it on me but with a quick search on the web we should be able to find it 99 lies cheat rayman ps1 yes i am leaving this okay so um my recording screwed up for this and essentially for the rest of this uh playthrough the or my mic audio just didn't want to uh, record the get the game audio was fine but yeah didn't like my voice i guess but as always post com so i have someone with me i'm here yeah it's me <laughs> just random what? what the hell oh okay oh I'm right here. okay so basically uh, during this boss fight because it's like stupidly difficult near the end um i abuse the 99 lives cheat because it also gives you full uh health so yeah. so so, so what's the the thing that, that like the screen's like flashing in the text is like disappearing that's oh, me oh. that's me trying to activate the code oh so like the moment you unpause that it, it works pretty much yeah all right Oh, so I've never played Rayman One. Yeah, it's um, it's basically um an old, old version of like something like Super Meat Boy, where it's like it's hard, but it feels mostly fair. But this is this boss is one of the most inf infamous parts of the game. Yeah, I can tell you already have to use the the, 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 the cheat code. I don't even care, cause like, it doesn't really. The game doesn't really get, do a good job at telling you this, but at this point you have to hit the washing machine enough times so you can actually hit her. Oh, the light right there. Yeah. It took me so long to figure that out. I was just like, the first time I played this game, it took me so long. And I, it was frame rate showing you in, in, in thing, not showing the invincibility. <laughs> mm. And there it goes. And that can still hit you. With the washing machine bouncing? Yeah. Oh, this music's really nice, though. Oh, yeah, the music is... Rayman always had really good music. Matter. <laughs> Just imagine that playing over one of the bosses. <laughs> Seems like the fight gets a little easier from here. Mm. Yeah, I All it's doing is this now, because it doesn't have that washing machine. Yeah. Most of the, the main issue with this boss is just that it takes ages. So, like, you get so far and then you die, but you ha and then you, it ends up so you have to do like four minutes again of the boss. What is this boss even called? I think it's called Space Mama. <laughs> In space? Mm. There we go. That was an anticlimactic. <laughs> and now this berry's gone. 
yeah, I like. I, I love the Rayman games. I played two in. Well, I played two free in Arena, but it will end Origins. Mm -hmm. But now, but seeing this is kind of weird. Mm. The closest I've seen was watching the Cat Icarus video. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice picture. Yeah, there's one thing I really like about this game. Sorry if I'm eating. Oh, God. Sorry if I'm eating, by the way. I'm really hungry. Um, mm. Is that every world has a different image opening thing. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I like how it so shows you, like, shows you that just randomly because like it's something i'd expect to like before the final level yeah it looks like a, like a bot here comes the, oh god mm. here comes the boss basically it looks more like yeah because the thing with this game i don't know if i told you this before but you had to get all the cages if you want to get to the final boss well there's an electune cage over there mm. I... i'm assuming they're electune cages yeah yeah they are why didn't you go back for it because I don't, basically, I didn't bother getting all the cages. I just went through, went far enough before the, I had to do the oh, final yeah. level. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> and then, uh, just put a code in. Because mm -hmm. I, some, I got uh, cages, well, I got a good amount of cages, but a lot of them you have to go back after you get a certain, a certain ability and stuff like that. So I just didn't. Like when you get the so I so I'm gonna guess you didn't start with the helicopter here. No, you don't. You don't. You can't. You can't even punch at the start. <laughs> great. It's just like great in Origins, actually. Mm. Okay. At least you can run. Also, at... yeah. At least you run right from the start. You're saying. Yeah. At least you can run at the start of Origins. All right. Look, I like how Rayman looks when he's hovering. Mm. He's like, wee. Yeah. That's not infinite, by the way. Seems like this one area right here is getting kind of bullcrap. Whoa. To, to is be- your video freaking out? Uh, not for me. Okay, that was weird. You're saying? Mm. Well, I was just saying, like, I did fail a few times during this, so... Oh. Oh, you get, wait, there's a power-up right there. You know that? I don't understand what's going on. Background stuff. Wait, so, uh, sorry about that, but it looked like, uh, like, there's, like, the ending there, I and mean, there's a power-up you just missed. Ah, uh, the ending. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Explaining some of the about some about some items here um these blue things are called tings they're they're ba basically think of them like rings and stuff and whatnot like coins. rings coins and all those like get a, get a hundred you get an extra life but thing is though every time you die you lose all of them so good luck trying to get one of those yeah. well i can imagine it early on mm. yeah i got it spike sense didn't kill no i had one hit point Oh. And also, it seems like you lose all your extra hits when you, uh, die. Yeah. Which... Kinda sucks. But no, it's like, um... Oh. What was it? Um, the other items, like... You see the, these little red pea ball things around? Those those gives you, like, full hit point. Like, full health. You get five oh. chances, I guess. And the, those, those, the smaller ones with those yellow dots around them, basically just refill your health. And I didn't get a- What happens if you, what happens if you get a red one? Oh wow. What happens if you get one of those red things if um your health is full? It does bugger all, I believe. Well, I'm gonna imagine an extra life. No, I don't think it does that. that it's, it's why I didn't bother getting it, uh, picking it up earlier. Oh. Well, because like, it seems like a lot of these are just very precise platforming. Mm. Like Mike, like like some like like earlier in that last level, there's like this one like one of the the purple rings things, and then you just like, yeah. had to ho hover across while and while jumping at the right time to avoid hitting a blue spike thing. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of that uh, kind. Of, well, this game, that that's like everything you do in this game pretty much off the first world is like super precise. 
Oh. It's not too bad because the game, I I think, mostly has the uh, solid controls to work around it, but you don't have the speed, I guess. Mm. But I think it works okay enough. Also, I hate how you die instantly when you go in water. I also hate how there's kind of a lack of checkpoints. Mm. I, but I do like the like what I just saw in the last one. Oh, like, the checkpoint just like someone took a picture. Yeah. Isn't that actually how the levels end in in Origins? Yeah. <laughs> Origins used a lot more than I thought. <laughs> there's a very good reason why I think uh, Origins takes place after one. Cause like, yeah. there, there, there's many things backing it up because it, I mentioned this in part two maybe, uh, but it's like, um, you, you save Electoons in this game and you save them in Rayman Origins, but and the thing is like, the game that was made after uh, Rayman Legends, you save Teen Seas instead, so, you know, there's kind of a connection there. Oh god. Mm. Yeah, I... yeah, camera, I think that's good. Yeah, I got kind of screwed. And it's also, the... I, I don't know how you feel about this fairy, but it's like, I had this uh, thought of um, the Teensies being like grown up versions of the Electoons or something, because, um, what was it? After, in this game, you don't see Teensies at all. And in Rayman Origins, you only see a few, but most you mainly see Electoons still. In Rayman Legends 2 3, there are no Electoons anywhere, and you only see Teensies. So. And you still say. And you save both of them in cages, so I don't know if that means anything, but. I don't know. It's just something I thought about. And it's, not, it's not a bad idea. I mean, I'm probably thinking way too much. I'm probably thinking way too far into this. They probably don't didn't wonder like worry about this. They they do, probably don't even care about the Rayman timeline as much as I do. Well, it seems like most of the games can feel more episodic. Mm, yeah, definitely. Cause you go Rayman, Rayman one to well, not even that. Just like Rayman two to Rayman three. The tone is just so different. Yeah. Also, my god, this this game. Mm. I, can't, I can imagine the hell Mario would go through trying to do all this. To to be honest, though, I'd 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 uh, gladly play this over Lost Levels or Zelda Two. Really now? Yeah, because I, as hard as uh, this game can be, sometimes. It, to me, it never becomes, like, stupidly unfair like those games can. Well, it's like, there's, well, it is like, uh, is it, it just seems like the platform here is very precise and demanding. It can be. But it's like, like I said, it's like an old, older version of a game like Super Meat Boy. Just a lot slower paced. And with lives. Yeah. That's a very dramatic wind-up. <laughs> Isn't there a, a cage up there? I don't know. Oh yeah, there's another thing about this game. Like, if you when you go to a certain like section or like some or like just some random platform, if you go back afterwards, sometimes there'll be like a random cage that appeared out of nowhere, and I really don't understand why that was added. Huh? That's kind of bullcrap. It's the most annoying part of the game, besides the line. Knowing, knowing how far you had to go before you can backtrack? It's n <laughs> Yeah, I just gave up. <laughs> it's annoying knowing when you- where you have to go to make things appear. It's like, you get a little, like, a uh, sound effect, like, or something like that. So you- Well, like that sound right there? Or well, that? No, not that. That's just the just cloud things disappearing. It's mm. like- but you know, you, you hear a specific sound that tells you there's something uh, that appeared. But I just would it be something? Would it be something sort of like the uh, the, the sound like when you break when you break when you hit the exclamation point in crate and then it's like a boop. 
You crashed? Uh. Oh. I. You know, it's kind of like some small audio hint. So like, yep, you hit it. Now here's some something's happening. Yeah, basically. Basically. But um, yeah, the thing is though, it, it's not clear at all where you have to go to make things appear. And sometimes, sometimes it can it can be, uh, it can waste your time completely, like just some random enemies or something pointless. So it's not even always worth it. And I just I don't understand what the point is. Like, why can't you just have everything in the level from the start? Because challenge. Yeah. I was gonna say because warp zone. Yeah, I just realized there when you die in that pit there, it's not even the bottom of the screen. Mm. 